Hello money team, how are you guys doing? I really hope that you're doing great. On this other side, I'm fantastic. Thank you. Now I want to warmly welcome you to the 12th episode of Wake a Shillings with the money team. I want to start by an apology because I owe you guys one. Now, I had clearly stated that these episodes will be running every single week and they will be airing every Tuesday. But due to unavoidable circumstances, I couldn't do that in the past two weeks and I just want to apologize. I hope the apology is accepted. Thank you. So in the last episode, uh, which was episode 11, we did have a lengthy discussion of how to create a budget. Now I got good reviews on that and I'm so glad that that was helpful. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about tracking your expenses. And because I'm doing beginner friendly content, um, I want to start with actually doing it manually in contrast to doing it electronically. By that I mean uh, like uh, you have to have the hard cash and not use transactions for this and i hope this would be a very helpful video and without further ado let's begin in the previous episode we created a may budget using the salary of thirteen thousand kenyan shillings which is the minimum wage in kenya and now these are the categories that we put down and right after that we did a projected budget where we allocate uh some funds to the uh, according to the various categories right here now this is actually you intentionally allocating a particular amount of money to this particular category now when it comes to the actual spending it could really vary it could you could underspend or you could overspend depending on how the month takes you of course lazima ningapatia another briefing of that budget so that um to when you have watch um in a make your sense okay so now that we have all seen the categories that we had budgeted for for our may budget now let's get to the next step which involves a little bit of writing and for that you are going to need envelopes so this system is called the envelope system and this is something that I actually discuss in one of my videos i will just link it right here so that if you didn't catch up with it you can get a chance to actually go there and learn something new okay so back to our class we were talking about envelopes now in those envelopes here's what we're going to write on the envelopes so as per the budget we have i'm just going to read out loud we have rent utility bills gas food grocery transport health savings and then we have clothes home upgrading miscellaneous grooming or personal care eating out or clubbing so all those categories we are going to omit four of them now i want to believe that most people pay people <laughs> through electronic means when i'm talking about electronic means i mean either mpesa or actually bank there are some bills that you can't actually pay through cash it is very rare for you to find someone pay rent through cash or save through cash or uh, pay electricity or water through cash so um we're going to omit those parts because this kind of system enables you to have cash at hand so we're going to minus 2600 we're going to minus 3000 we're going to minus 500 bob <laughs> Money team. Now, to me back in six thousand six hundred. Indo pesa unenda ku with the draw. Now, I'd love you to with the draw and itisha change. And, and when I say change, just use the amounts that would be helpful for you. It could be 50, 50, 50, 100, 100, 100, maybe 200, 200, 200, 200 depending on uh, your needs. Okay. Now, all the other columns, we are going to have an envelope for each of it. And this is what we're going to do. So, unenda kuchukua pesa. Pesa yako venye ulikume chukua. I don't think necessarily hapa you need uh, the change. So, you could put 200, 200 inside here. And that is home upgrading. Next, we have gas. We budgeted for 1,500 Kenyan shillings. We're going to put 1,500 in here. And then we have miscellaneous, which was 500 Kenyan shillings. I don't think you need small change for that. So you could put just 500 Kenyan shillings in there. Then we have the clothes column, 1,000 Kenyan shillings. For that, again, I don't think you need small change. So right here, we have an envelope for that. Put in the money 
in there and then we have grooming and personal care we have it right here uh, Kira Likwame budget here, 500 Kenyan shillings, that is what you put in this envelope. And then lastly, we have transport and this one is where you actually need a small change in regards to how much you always use uh, for fare every single day. Now that we have the envelope, Nandani Ikona Pesa. So this is how uh, we go about it. You have to be intentional. A budget encourages you to be in intentional. So every single day when you're leaving the house, you carry what's necessary. If you know, I need a hundred bob for transport from Mapa, just take a hundred bob. If that day you are going to refill the gas, carry the gas money. If that day you decided you're going to the salon, carry the salon money. So every single day you just uh, remove money and go use it so I, with this i would suggest you know how much you could be spending on a daily basis so that it may guide you now if you go napesa ibaki please just dish up your envelope and then uh, we just continue with the days question is what happens when you understand when you understand i don't think there is anything wrong with that that means you will be having some bit of money remaining so this money you just take it back to your investor or back to the bank and then uh, put it in your savings or lock savings account okay now what happens when you overspend in a particular category now you guys remember that we did budget for miscellaneous so if anything happens na kuna pesa ime 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 end up overboard you this is where you tap into the miscellaneous column hola i know this is very unprofessional but uh while i'm editing i realized there is something i needed to add personally i do budget for 2000 bob as my miscellaneous and i normally keep it in the phone so that if anything happens while i'm out there and i can't access the cash then i can always tap into uh the money on my mpesa yeah uh, of course it is automatic that if you go away beyond you will end up in debt and i wouldn't encourage any of my team members to be having uh debts to finance your lifestyle okay please have debts that help you run a business or bring back some kind of positive return your way okay money team there you have it that was it for this video short and brief and i hope that you did enjoy and learn something in this particular video i want to hope that i tackled every single bit i needed to tackle if you feel like there is something i left out please let me know in the comment section down below and before i log off i was your host miss rombo and i always encourage you to be kind to one another spread the love and happiness and we definitely make this world a better place till next time guys bye <laughs>